In the last video, we saw the to-do application, but there was a problem. We were not able to store our to-do. Today, we'll fix that. So when you create a container, Docker uses a union file system to manage the layer. Each layer gets its own writable layer, but this layer is ephemeral or it's temporary. Meaning, once the container is deleted, the data inside this layer is lost. Let's try to fix this problem. So Docker provides four storage options, volume mount, bind mount, TMPFS mount, and name pipe. Volume mount is something where data is stored on the file system of the host, but in order to interact with the data, you must create a volume. Next is bind mount. Here in bind mount, what we do is we directly attach or mount our local path, like for example, C temp or C DevOps, or in our case, let's say D DevOps demo. You can attach or directly map this folder to any folder file system in the container. There are no volumes. Let's create volume. Let's run the container. Let's see it in our browser. Add some to-dos. We have made some changes. They should get stored in database. We will delete this and then again create it. Let's run the same command again. Now remember, it should persist because we are giving the same volume and data is getting stored in the volume. Let's hit enter. The changes that we made are still there. 